What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. We're out here on the lake. I got Mr. Eric Buckland back here. This is one of our subscribers. Uh, he found us on YouTube. He came down to our shop and wanted to introduce himself to us and then asked us if we'd take him out. So anytime anybody asks us to go diving, that's exactly what we do. We jump in the boat, we go diving. Uh, got Mr. Brian here. Brian's our captain today. You guys know him. He's one of our assistant instructors at the shop. But uh, we're going to take Eric out to one of the old bridges or the bridge pillars that's still under the water from the original Hickory Highway. Um, if you go back through our playlist, you'll see some of the old videos that we made of that. And I'll kind of show you. It's not really that far of a ride, but right out here behind me, this little area here and the little fishing area here where the beach is, there was a bridge that crossed the lake right, let's see if I can do it, from right there to right there and so the bridge of course is gone but the pillars are still underwater so we're going to go try to locate it again today um, and take Eric down show him what kind of local diving is all about hopefully we'll see some good catfish good sized catfish and hopefully we won't have too bad visibility here recently our lake's been chocolate milk because of all the rain that we've got but it has been clearing up and thanks to Duke Pyre actually lowering the lake levels it's actually cleared it up quite a bit so I'm hoping for maybe five ten foot vias but this gets Eric in the water, shows him what local diving's all about. So come along with us, guys, and hopefully we'll have a good time. So basically what we're looking for, Eric, you're going to see here on the screen, um, think of an upside-down horseshoe is what we're looking for. You can kind of start seeing it come in. And it's just a really tall structure. Right there it is. Yep. Split it perfect. And that's one of the original columns that held this okay. horse and buggy bridge here. Looks like the bottom's around 38 feet, 39 feet maybe. Yeah, it's usually about 40. Yeah. 40 but you can see too where all the dirt's kind of been piled up against right, it. Right. So typically it'd probably be a little bit deeper than that. But it's just a big concrete structure. There's usually a lot of huge catfish on it.
Here, I'll take you here. Yeah. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> I have to put that one over here on this and lay it on that seat or we'll move it. Thank you, gentlemen. Absolutely. All right, guys, so we just got finished up. Eric, I really appreciate you coming Thank out. Thank you, Brian. Definitely appreciate blast. you being a subscriber. Um, got to show him one of the old bridge columns down there. We actually found two of them, and apparently a fisherman or somebody's cut our rope, so we're going to have to come back out on another day and actually run an, an additional rope out there. But, uh, Eric, I hope you had a great time. Great time. Great to uh, see the bridge. Absolutely. <laughs> um, we actually went out to another location as well. We're going to try to make a video in the future on it. It's another part of the same road system, but it's in a different part of the lake. And so in a future video, I'll kind of give you the history of that as well. But guys, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like this video, if you like these historical dives, smash that like button for me. Definitely share this video. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.